Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with some more math today. Here's what I'm going to be showing you today, how to solve these limits as x goes to infinity of arctan x and the limit as x goes to infinity of arctan of e to the x. Um, they're both, well, my goal is to show you this one here, but it's going to kind of build off of this one here. So we're going to kind of go through both of these. They're going to end up being very similar. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So for both of these limits, before we actually try and evaluate these, I want to kind of think about what the graph of a couple different functions look like. So let's think about first what arctan x looks like on a graph. So if we imagine graphing arctan x, well, before we do that, I do want to point out arctan x is the same as inverse tangent. So this is just the inverse of tan x. So this is what the graph of tan x looks like. It has a vertical asymptote at pi over 2 and it has a vertical asymptote at negative pi over two. And at both those asymptotes, it just goes up, you know, up to infinity and down to negative infinity. So what the inverse of tan x would look like, this is tan x. The inverse of this would reflect and, you know, reflect along this kind of 45 degree angle and point sideways. So what that would look like is more like this, right? We're gonna have a horizontal asymptote at pi over two and a horizontal asymptote at negative pi over two. And as it you know, approaches that asymptote, it's gonna just keep going further and further that way and in the negative direction as well. So we can see you know, basically just by looking at what this graph looks like, as x goes to infinity, so this is arctan, As x goes to infinity, what y value does this function approach? Well, it's just going to get closer and closer to pi over 2. So this limit, as x goes to infinity of arctan x, is just going to be pi over 2. Okay, so let's kind of think about what how that applies to this limit here. We have, you know, obviously... This has arctan in it as well, but here we have arctan of e to the x instead of arctan x. So what we want to do is also think about what a graph of e to the x looks like. So let's think about that. If we have x and then we have our function e to the x, it's going to do something like this, right? It's just going to keep on going as x goes to infinity and gets bigger and bigger e to the x is just going to keep getting bigger and bigger because we just have this constant e being raised up to a higher and higher power. If you have some positive constant being raised up to a bigger and bigger power, as that power gets bigger, the the exponent, you know, the whole exponential function is going to keep getting bigger as well. So as x goes to infinity, e to the x goes to infinity as well. So basically what we have here is the limit as this piece that's being plugged into arctan of x goes to infinity. So effectively, this ends up being the same as what we had up here, right? Because we had the arctan as what's being plugged in is going to infinity. Well, that's the same thing we have down here, arctan of some piece going to infinity. So as this thing goes to infinity, this thing as a whole is going to do exactly that. As the piece that you're plugging into arctan x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the graph of arctan just gets closer and closer to pi over 2.